guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to encrypt and sign homebrews for the Sony PSP. This will work on any firmware, thanks to a bunch of developers. They found the keys, security keys for PS3, and the ones in the PS3 also implemented the ones for PSP. So now we can play simple homebrews and small homebrews without any hack running so we don't have to run a hen don't need a custom firmware or like a half byte loader none of that so first you want to download your simple homebrew I'm gonna use PS, PS Paint, PSP Paint it's like a paint application and on your homebrew you want to make sure you have the eboot.ppp file if you don't have one screw it it's not gonna work so after you do that you want to download PRX encryptor pack This and then you want to run pvp unpacker and you want to un install it alright so install that and after you install it run it and then click open and then go and then navigate to your eboot for your game and mine is right here well not game homebrew that's the eboot.pvp for my homebrew which is PS Paint. after you do that highlight all of it and click on extract desktop okay okay and you can X that out for now then you want to go to PRX encryptor pack and then you wanna right click PRX encryptor the Windows command file not the application not the exe right you wanna click PRX encryptor Windows command file commands Windows command script right click and go to properties then you wanna look at location and go and you want to copy this entire line copy it and X that out and then on the same file right click edit and you want to paste it here this won't be there for you but you want to just paste what you just did there and the first letter it should be C so you want to change this to C also Alright, so X that out and save. Next, you want to get your eBoot again. This. Copy it and paste it into that file. Oopsies. You want to get your eBoot and put it in here. This is the original one, not the unpacked one. Then you want to run PRX Encryptor, the command file and then press any key and this data.psp file will come up then you want to right click copy right click on your desktop paste and you want to replace it copy and replace after that you want to go to pvp unpacker click new and you want to load all these files so the param.sfo is here the icono.png here, uh, the pick1.png, and the data.psp, most important. After you do that, click save, desktop, and save it. And then this file will appear. And then you want to bow. Sometimes you can just click, um, you can make a new folder and make it paint and you could just drop the eboot into there and then put this and this would be your homebrew but for other times you this is the safest so this is it the eboot p eboot.pvp you want to copy it go to your original homebrew file paste it there and replace okay and then you want to so this is your homebrew and this is what you want to put in your PSP game file. So I'm just going to put the memory stick for my PSP into my computer now. Alright, and I want to open folder to view files. And you want to go to PS, PSP. And then you want to go to game. And this file, where it's the file where you replace the eboot.pbp. And that's your homebrew also. You want to copy paste and you're done you have now successfully 
converted in a homebrew to a combat compatible file with the Sony PSP. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, this is just the proof of uh, the tutorial I just showed you about converting them to converting uh, homebrews to be playable with a regular firmware. So as you can, my firmware is 6.20. I don't have any hack running. Just to show you that I don't have the TN Hen running, I'm pressing the select button and the VSH money isn't coming. Alright, so I have no hack running and I'm gonna go to the game PS Paint. Okay, I got nothing running. And bingo. There it goes. See? It's running. PS Paint. And there we go. It's running. I can. Actually, I'm not really sure how to use this, but. You can see. Ah, got something going. Okay, obviously, I suck at this, but as you can see, it works. So, let's return. And I have no plugins running. I have no hack running. TN Han, I don't have uh, HBL running, obviously, because I'm not in Patapon. But yeah, right from the XMB, official firmware, no hack running. So, uh, alright, see.